despite plenty of naysayers, VR continues to survive and thrive with plenty of great games available on the platform. With this feature, we take a look at some of the best VR games of all time. We have quite a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Beat Saber Beat Saber is all about slashing your lightsaber to rhythmic beats, and while that might sound pretty simplistic at first, it makes for an incredibly fun time. A lot of what makes it so addictive boils down to the visuals and audio, which feature some clean, neon-heavy visuals and catchy electronic beats, respectively. It's a great example of how something so simple can be made so addictive with the right design choices, and Beat Saber will easily keep you hooked for hours on end. Half-Life Alex. Half-Life Alex is a sequel to what is one of the most respected franchises of all time, so it's obvious that it had some pretty big shoes to fill, but it's safe to say that Valve confidently stood up to those expectations, and Alex manages to capture the spirit of Half-Life in a new dimension. Everything from the compelling narrative to the brain-tickling puzzles and frenetic combat works flawlessly, making Alex easily one of the best VR games that you can play right now. Super Hot VR Superhot operates on a simple principle. Time only moves when you do. That singular mechanic is what makes the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay so good, allowing for some amazing action sequences where you dodge past bullets, throw bottles at enemies, and knock someone else out in just a few seconds. Superhot VR adds that extra level of immersion to the whole affair, making that action all the better and those time-defying stunts all the more personal. Horizon Call of the Mountain Horizon Call of the Mountain was a launch title for the PSVR 2, so it had to be a great experience if it wanted to drive sales for such an expensive add-on for a console. Set in the titular post-apocalyptic world of the franchise, Call of the Mountain excellently translates that open-world mechanic into a bunch of carefully curated roller coaster sequences that make this VR title an absolutely thrilling experience. Blastun Blaston thrusts players into a deathly duel of careful dodges and strategic throws against a backdrop of a neon-drenched world. It's created by Resolution Games and expertly manages a surprisingly deep set of gameplay mechanics with a fast and frenetic pace of gameplay to create an experience that's really hard to put down once you get the hang of it. Blaston is also free to play, so there's literally no excuse for you not to try it out if you have a compatible VR set. The London Heist London Studios' The London Heist is a VR adventure where you get to experience some high-octane chase sequences, thrilling firefights, and a constantly twisting story that keeps you at the edge of your seat at all times. It boasts some impressive production quality, and the gameplay also manages to keep things interesting with memorable chase sequences and high-fidelity graphics, which makes it a great game worth seeing through to the end. No Man's Sky no Man's Sky might not have started life out on the right foot, but Hello Games was able to turn the game's fates around for the better with a constant influx of meaningful content updates post-launch. One of these updates also included the ability to enjoy the game in VR, which adds an extra level of immersion to the galactic exploration. Witnessing the beauty of procedurally generated planets is a consistently enchanting experience, and it's a must-try for fans of the same. Gran Turismo 7 Despite some initial balancing issues, Polyphony Digital's Gran Turismo 7 has morphed into a big hit, and for good reason. The simulation gameplay at its core is complex in all the right ways, and that coupled with the immaculate attention to detail makes it a worthy sequel to this long-running franchise. And if you are a gearhead, you have to check out the VR mode that quite literally transports you to the driving seat of your favorite supercars, allowing you to live out your racing fantasies to the fullest. Resident Evil 7 Resident Evil 7 made some really big changes to the horror genre, and it's safe to say that those changes were for the better. The shift to a first-person perspective makes the survival horror experience even more immersive, and those horrors became even more defined through the VR mode. The slow pace of gameplay and the renewed focus on survival horror works surprisingly well in VR, and it's inarguably the best way to see what the Baker Mansion has to offer. Hubris 
Hubris is a story-driven sci-fi game that utilizes the cutting-edge technology of VR to make you experience an intriguing story set on a distant planet. Hubris features a fun movement system where you can climb, jump, and swim through a wide variety of diverse environments, along with great shooting mechanics and simple crafting systems. It's a surprisingly vast game for the VR platform, and fans of action-adventure games should definitely try it out. Lone Echo 2 Lone Echo 2 starts off from where the first one left off. The sequel puts you in the shoes of Jack, an android working on a mining station on Saturn, who is tasked with helping a crew member when an unknown anomaly appears and everything starts to go haywire. Lone Echo 2 gives you this surreal feeling of dread, where you have to navigate through an empty space station and complete objectives in zero gravity while in VR. The game features some fluid mechanics, along with interactive environments, which makes Lone Echo 2 a pretty thrilling experience. Walkabout Mini Golf Walkabout Mini Golf is a great game to play alone, against other players online, or with your friends that lets you enjoy the sport in a wide array of distinct golf courses. It features some pretty sophisticated physics systems that makes it a game where you can really sink your teeth into, and that pursuit of perfection is duly rewarded with a steady stream of unlocks including but not limited to customization options for your avatar. Pistol Whip Dodging bullets and killing bad guys all while vibing to your favorite might just be the best description of Pistol Whip. It's a rhythm shooter with fast and frenetic gunplay where you must sync your shots perfectly to the tune of backing tracks. It pays a ton of attention to the visuals and audio, and the stylish combat along with its cool selection of stages makes this game a must-try on VR. Red Matter 2 Developed by Vertical Robot, Red Matter 2 serves as a sequel to the original in every sense, with better graphics, puzzles, environment details, and improved physics. Set during a dystopian Cold War era, players take on the role of a cosmonaut, trying to uncover the mystery behind the Red Matter, which revolves around exploring a lunar base on Saturn and solving brain-teasing puzzles. What makes it special is its ability to keep you engaged with its atmospheric design and engaging gameplay, which makes it a game Game that's worth trying on the VR platform. Astrobot Rescue Mission Sony Japan's Astrobot Rescue Mission is a wonderfully imaginative platformer that puts you in the robotic shoes of the titular protagonist as you hop and glide through carefully crafted levels in VR. It's a simple game with a solid set of mechanics, but what makes it special is the level of care and attention that has gone into each aspect of the experience. Asgard's Wrath 2 Asgard's Wrath 2 thrusts players into a world where they need to explore to unravel the mysteries this world holds. The gameplay revolves around solving puzzles and fighting vicious battles through its fast and frenetic action combat. Asgard's Wrath 2 is an ambitious open world game which excellently balances elements like exploration, combat, and progression. Asgard's Wrath 2 is available on MetaQuest VR and comes free if you purchase a Quest 3, which makes it a must-have for platform owners. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.